look, let me put it this way. I have heard people, politicians, claiming to be defenders of women's rights. I've never heard defend women's rights in the past. In fact, I've heard support policies like the rape clause, for example, that run counter to women's rights. We have legislation looming in later in this parliament on criminal justice reform to try to deal with uh, issues of low conviction rates for rape and sexual assault. We are likely to be dealing with legislation in months to come around abortion buffer zones. And I think it will be interesting uh, to see how many of the so-called defenders of women's rights in the context of the trans debate suddenly don't think that all women's rights are actually important. And there are some people that I think have decided to use women's rights as a sort of cloak of acceptability to cover what is transphobia. Now, again, that's not everybody who opposes this bill. I want to be very clear about that. But many, there are people who have opposed this bill uh, that cloak themselves in women's rights to make it acceptable. But just as they're transphobic, you will also find that they're deeply misogynist, uh, often homophobic, possibly some of them racist as well.